This is a sessions video tutorial. Choosing display typography. Display typography appeals to the emotions more than the intellect. It doesn't lecture plainly from behind a wooden desk, but entertains on stage with tap shoes and a song. Display type has personality and is key to developing the visual identity of an individual, institution, corporation, product, or service. Choosing a display type isn't always easy, however. There are a lot of choices with a lot of personality. However, with a little bit of practice, you start to recognize the various traits of the typeface. Let's try choosing a display type for three restaurants, all named Leonardo's. They're all Italian places owned by the same family, but each has a unique personality and menu to target a different market. Leonardo's on Green Street is a pizza joint, the kind of place you go with friends after the ball game. Beer is on tap, prices are moderate, and they have a jukebox which plays old-time rock and roll. Leonardo's on Brown Avenue is upscale. They serve authentic handmade pasta dishes and not much pizza. Red wine is the popular accompaniment. Jazz is played on Friday. Leonardo's on White Boulevard is almost like fast food. Pizza by the slice and a fun place for family and kids. Coca-Cola served here. Top 40 pop music is piped into the dining room. Here are 10 display typefaces. Consider the idea that a notion of identity can be communicated through the body language of typography, its posture, cadence, and verve. Some words come to mind when I look at these faces. Elegant, fun, zany, quirky, austere, no-nonsense, grungy, casual, upscale, modern. So which would you choose for which Leonardo's restaurant? Here's which ones I would choose and why. For the upscale Leonardo's, I'd use typeface 5 or 1. Both have an elegant demeanor. They're serif faces and classical in feeling. For the fast slice Leonardo's, the best choice might be 3. It's certainly a fun and gestural face, but all of its quirks might get distracting after a while. For the beer and pizza Leonardo's, I'd look for a casual and friendly face, like a good buddy. I keep getting drawn to number 10. It's sort of middle of the road and unpretentious. Remember that selecting a face is only the first step in a design. We could apply different colors, arrange the letters differently, use all uppercase, add ornamentation, or use a graphic along with the type. Let's spell it out right on the pizza box to get a real feel for how the display type and other design elements create the visual identity for these three restaurants. Here's our upscale gourmet Leonardo's box. Here's our fast slice Leonardo's box. And here's our beer and pizza Leonardo's box. Okay, hopefully you understand a little bit more about using display typography to develop visual identities. Now take a break and go get yourself a slice.